The Nigerian Senate has condemned in strong terms the recent attacks on Bedouin communities by terrorists. The upper chamber also called on the federal government and other authorities to put appropriate measures in place to forestall the reoccurrence of such an incident. These formed part of the resolutions of the lawmakers when the issue came up during plenary at the upper chamber of the National Assembly. The Senate says it is worried about the worsening spate of insecurity in the country after Senator Emmanuel Odende raised a point of order on the killing of over 50 people in Logo Goma and Kastena Ala areas of Benue State. Saddened that the residents of the villages and communities now find themselves targeted on a daily basis by heavy armed terrorists. And the toll continues to be staggering as they bear the brunt, with reports of marauders butchering several villagers, leaving many homes completely burnt down, and numerous residents still missing, while the perpetrators, however, remain elusive and have not been apprehended. Contributing to the debate, immediate past president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, declared that the security architecture in the country has collapsed, leaving Nigerians defenseless and frustrated. Insist on getting improvements, and of course, uh, constitutional review is coming. I don't know what we can do better, but the security architecture in Nigeria today has failed woefully. And we have said this many times, even in the previous assemblies, that this thing is not working. And it, we have to find something that works. Deeply worried, the senators say killings and violent crimes must be halted urgently. This but this hide out in forests in our various communities, like in Agatu, like I said that time. They have forests and they have locations. So the, the mystery of it is that why have we not been able to pick them out of these forests? And some of these small, small forests now can degenerate into some bisha forests again. Until we resolve to do what is required of us to do constitutionally, we shouldn't be coming here to be raising motion upon motion every day. This community is attacked. That community is attacked. What, what have we done as a Senate, as members of the National Assembly, as the third arm of government, to really tame the tide of this insecurity? This issue of security, we can't continue to be coming here every day or at least every week to stand up, because this is the last thing you say now. Uh, let's observe one minute silence, and that's it. And then next week, we'll have something like that, or more than that. Then you say you condemn, to we'll observe one minute silence. After contributions from lawmakers, the Senate unanimously urged service chiefs, including the Inspector General of Police, to, as a matter of urgency, deploy their men to flush out the criminal elements terrorizing parts of Benue State. The, the, the first line of thought is the, 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 the government of Benue State. And uh, as Senator then they brought it forward. I have not had any comment from the government of Benue State. If 50 people are killed, or more than 50, and communities are being attacked, we will expect that the governor will either cry out or march out plans with the immediate security operatives within the Benway State to see what he can do before we start bringing the issue to the president. The upper chamber also urged the executive to invest in surveillance technology to effectively curb the activities of terrorists.